5500 okay now we'll come on more interesting question that is again depends on your installment or emi it is not emi it is annual in installment biju has paid a loan in three annual installment it is not given equal installment just be careful it is given only three annual installment if it is not written equal installment means we have to consider it is not equal again relation has given the first installment is half of the second and second is 67 percent of third if ci is 12 percent and loan principal value was 25640 then find the second installment principal amount it is given 25640 just suppose x is your third installment then second installment will become 2 by third x first installment will become 1 by 3x then you just write 1 by 3x 2 by 3x x total you have to pay 2x what is x x is your third installment now installment are different just will apply simple methodology simple calculation just you start to read this equation from inside bracket to outside means in in inner bracket to outer bracket then you will get the idea first after one year just simple p amount will convert into p into 1.12 because rate of interest is 12 percent no doubt amount will convert this one okay now after one year you have paid first installment that is your 1 by 3x what will be left out amount this will be under this small bracket okay this is a small bracket after one year means at the end of second year again you have to multiply with 1.12 because again after end of two year first year and after end of two years means between one year gap is there this amount you will get the interest of 12 percent 1 into 1.2 now after end of second year you are paying the second installment that is your i2 means that we have subtract the total will put in big bracket that has become the principal amount for your third year means that much amount left out after paying the second installment again one year 1.12 means second to third year and afterwards you are paying the amount x that is your third installment okay this should be equal to zero because because total amount you have paid total amount you have paid whatever interest you got you have given installment again interest you got you given the installment finally you paid entire amount due to equal to zero then just to be separate we'll just do wall x containing terms with right side and this is one left side then it will become x into 1.12 square plus 3 2 into this 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 then you will get finally 1.12 to the power 3 it will be equivalent to 1.4 p and this will become 2.17 x you just calculate simple calculation it will become 16,542 that is your third installment x is your third installment what is your second installment 2 by third x that is 11,028 what is your first installment that is 1 by 3 x that is 5,514 